It's required. Oh, you gonna do this, right? Yeah. What the fuck, America? Yeah. yeah, fuck America. I mean, we pray Russia starts shooting missiles on America. Did y'all you, you know the uh, United States government just sent all kind of tanks and military equipment over to Ukraine? So they, they pretty much officially declared war on Russia. I mean, it's not official, official. Wait, when you sending tanks to fight, motherfucker? <laughs> no, official being here. Yeah. <laughs> they was already uh, funding the Ukrainians. They were they funded that whole Ukrainian uh, revolution that just went down last year, this past year. And now the reason, part of, part of the reason why the gas prices are so low it's because they trying to put the they trying to destroy the Russian economy. So that's that's why the Russian economy is collapsing right now. Motherfuckers is uh, doing bank runs. Everybody they rush into the stores buying supplies before the prices uh, go through the roof. So Russia's pissed off right now and soon they're going to start shooting missiles. This is Angus 9 and 8. Oh yeah, that's the description right there. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. Yeah, America is a sinful kingdom. All right, America is a sinful kingdom. It's one of the only countries in the world where faggots can get married. Adultery is legal. All right, the whole economic system is based upon usury and thievery. I'll read that again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. This is America. Keep going. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So the Lord's going to destroy America for all of his wickedness. And all the evil is committed upon the face of the earth. What did they say then? The chickens have come home to roost, motherfucker. Who, who said that? Hey, your boy Jeremiah Wright. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he said the chickens have come home to roost. Yeah, he, took a big, uh, he was taking a beating for it. Yeah, he said, what did he say? He said, not God bless America. God damn America. <laughs> so, yeah, he, that dude's set up, though. You know what I'm saying? He ain't he ain't real. He, he, a, he, a, got, he a part of a big-ass money-grubbing church. All he doing is getting paid. Saying that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, says the Lord. This is Job 34 and 21. Oh yeah, so the only people that's gonna make it, the only people that's gonna be saved is the, the one third of Israel. Because the Lord said he would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. But he gonna destroy the, the majority of Israel, but he gonna save a remnant. He told me the most of our people are gonna be destroyed. I actually believe this, if you kept reading the English, it speaks in another language. Yeah, yeah, it does. Let me finish here. Let me get back to this. Um, uh, for his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings. There is no darkness nor workers of it. There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. What's that? Uh, this Job, Job oh. 34 and 21. Oh, okay. Let me start over again. Job 34 and 21. For his eyes are upon the ways of men, and he seeth all his goings. There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. For he will not lay upon man more than right, that he should enter into judgment with the Most High. He shall break in pieces mighty men without number, and set others in their steed. He set others in their steed. Therefore, he knoweth him their works, and he overturneth them in the night, so that they are destroyed. That's a true revolution right there. That's the Most High's revolution. The revolution shall be televised. Okay, that's where the re revolution turn to turn around. They turn the tables on you devils. Oh, I was talking about revolution. You see that bullshit with Obama uh, going uh, going down to Cuba, uh, Cuba, talking to Cuba. Yeah, yeah. They, they about to fuck Cuba up, man. 
They going into Cuba with a Trojan horse ready to take that shit over. That's funny, coming with that, uh, what's the olive branch piece? Yeah, the, the helmet of peace, we really bringing the sword. Yeah. They gotta be some fools to fall for that oh, shit, man. They stupid. That's just gonna piss Russia, that's gonna piss Russia off even more right there. Russia's there anyway. Cause yeah, Russia's already down in Cuba. Mm -hmm. What well, they got a Marine Corps base in Guantanamo Bay too. Remember they sent their, um, their intelligence down there like about that? Yeah, the spy ships. Yeah, the spy ship. They were spying. They, they, got, they got the spy ship that can see all the way to damn Florida. <laughs> and they can see you to the past the Gulf of Mexico. That's something. They, they ain't got telescope. I mean, they got some shit beyond a telescope. They got some highly advanced spying equipment. The, 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 war, the, the uh, World War III, or, the, or let me say it this way, the War of Armageddon at Gadwan, at Godwan. Yeah, Armageddon. You're right. Is, uh, Which means, uh, yeah, the, the, the hill of war, yeah. the troops, the, yeah. That's on World War III, and the World War III, that means the world. Man, they're gonna be going to war everywhere, man. Yeah. So now it's getting closer here. Closer, closer. Yeah, I'm gonna see what goes down with that Cuba thing, because Cuba might be having some trickery up their sleeve, too. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to watch that. Yeah, I didn't see that one. And now I was watching your boy Dabu7, and he's like, you know who's down there. He trying to say Tupac's still alive in Cuba. Yeah. The motherfucker's crazy. Because they said yeah, Tupac's uh, great, uh, Tupac's godmother's down in Cuba. What's that bitch's name? Right, right. Santu right. or some shit. Right. The bitch they got off the Actually, she is on the, um, so when the, black the FBI's yeah, uh, most wanted list. Yeah, she's on the FBI's most wanted list. Mm -hmm. she actually, and, that's what, and then people try to say Tupac escaped to Cuba. It's a madness. What, what, what do you have to escape from? Is he running for child support or something? Oh, yeah, what is he escaping from? Right. Exactly. When he's, when he's a guy here. Exactly. He was, people ain't got no conversation. It don't even make no sense. They shot his ass. Just like on Machiavelli's record. He said, Shook shot me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you heard that right. Damn right. Yeah, because I was just arguing with somebody today about that shit. And they's like, Tupac was the the strongest black man to have ever lived. This motherfucker singing. Are you serious? Hey, yeah, they, I, 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 I debate with people about this every day. Oh. Not every day, but a lot. Oh my it's like people worship Tupac like he's the great revolutionary. Mm -hmm. He's the man of God. He's a prophet. They, they give more props to Tupac than the actual men of the Lord. And Tupac's part of the, he was part of the world. He always rap. He got that song, Hit Him Up, talking about adultery. Yeah. He even got a song talking about smoking PCP. Oh, but he got a song, he so fuck some Tupac, man. You want to talk about somebody leaving your ass to scream. He could get high on PCP and commit adultery. I got something for that too. And that's what they're talking about when you're getting wet. Don't that mean to smoke PCP? Yeah, that's when they mix it. Uh, the cigarettes or the weed. They put PCP with the weed. Just yeah. like on that movie Friday, when they had smoke, you smoke that shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, they call it when they mix bomber fluid wet too. Yeah, they get to get wet. I thought PCP was a bomber fluid. Oh, there goes your boy. <laughs> that's Leonard's homie. Yeah, probably Um, this is uh, Isaiah 44. No, you ain't heard from Leonard, have you? No. Uh, they that make a graven image are all of them vanity, and their delectable things shall not profit. Y'all, y'all, them graven images, y'all Catholics got up in your church. That's just all vanity. Your little Mary Guadalupe's. Hmm. We take a shit on your Mary Guadalupe. We take a shit on it and burn it with fire. That's right. Keep going. Um, and they are their own witnesses. They see not, nor know, that they may be ashamed. Who have formed a god or molten a graven image that is profitable for nothing? And you go up in an Egyptologist's house too, they got little Isis's and horses up in there. The people are retarded, man. Mm -hmm. They got their little apus bulls up on the mantle. They got their onks around their neck. Go ahead. Who have formed a God, promoting a graven image that is proper for nothing? Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen that are of men, let them all be gathered together, let them stand up. Yet they fear, shall fear, and they shall be ashamed together. The smith and the tongs, both working in the coals, and the fashioneth, and fashioneth it 
with hammers and worketh it with strength of his arm, yea, he is hungry and his strength faileth. He drinketh no water and is faint. Um, the tar carpenter stretches out his wool. He marketh it out with a blind. He fitteth it with planes and he marketh it out with a compass and maketh it after the figure of a man, accordingly to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. He heweth him down cedars and taketh the cypress in the oak. This is a Catholic church. Mm -hmm. Which he strengthened for himself among the trees of the forest. He planteth an ash. Oh shit, why are you getting that? You might as well, where you at? Uh, Isaiah. You might as well get that Jeremiah 10, just Jeremiah while you're going 10. into that. Um, he heweth down him down cedars and taketh the cypress and the oak, which he strengthened for himself among the trees of the forest. He planteth an ash, and the rain doth nourish it. Then shall it be for a man to burn. Wait, hold on. Yeah, because we in that time of year right now. That, that's all Christmas is all about is graven images, fairy tales, paganism. Because Christmas, all these fools, they about to celebrate Christmas next week. They don't know Christmas is a pagan holiday. You try to tell them they don't listen. Okay, because the word Christmas is not in the Bible. So who the hell is Santa Claus? If Christmas is about Jesus, why you got this other guy coming up in there named Santa Claus? That don't make no sense. Santa Claus. They try, he say he's based on Saint Nick. Well, Saint Nick, where in the, Saint Nicholas was part of the, the church in the Byzantine Empire. That's in uh, Constantinople, which is in modern day Turkey, where modern day Istanbul. So, but Santa Claus is from the North Pole. I don't even know nobody that lives in the North Pole. You know anybody that lives in the North Pole? That's some bullshit, man. Because Santa Claus is really based on Odin. Okay, it goes back to the what they call him, the All Father. Okay, you know Santa Claus is Odin, but he a heathen anyway. He probably worship uh, what's some heathen, the Hindu gods, the monkey gods, and the, the mini arms, the blue bits. Yeah, but you ever see that little hat Santa Claus wears? You know who Baal is? Baal wore the same hat, a little hat with a little ball on top of it. He's, that's why he's red. That's why the devil's red. Esau's red. And Esau is the devil, just like Santa Claus is red. And Santa Claus is fat because he got fat on the, the soles of your children. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just watching this dude. I was just watching uh, your boy. I've been trolling the shit out of this uh, dude's channel, this fam famous uh, black metal guitarist. This dude, Varg Vickerness, or however the hell you say his name, from Burzum. But he's been making videos and he said that the tradition, because he's an expert on that pagan shit. He worships Odin and shit. He's out of his mind. But he said, according to the pagan traditions of the Norse, that uh, the elves are the ones who made the, the presents during the, the Yuletide. So that whole tradition of uh, Santa's little helpers, the elves, that goes back to the Norse pagan traditions. And they said the elf spirits made the presents for the children. That goes back to Norse paganism. No, we're talking about some elves is making your presence. Because the elf is really a spirit, a little mischievous spirit, a little demon. That's what an elf is, a demon. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Oh shit, well, my fault real quick. Did you ever watch uh I was watching some documentary on Iceland. You got a lot of them fools up by Iceland. They descend from the Vikings. And they all claim to be Christians, but they mix all that paganism and with they shit. And these motherfuckers will actually walk around and they're scared to death of elves and they said the elves are wrecking havoc in the town. Look, these motherfuckers is nuts. They just further prove that Christmas is all paganism. It goes back to the, the worship of Odin. Okay, the, the the celebration of the Yule. Okay, so I'll read that again. Proves these people are stupid. And that's why in uh, Scandinavia they call a Christmas tree a Yule tree because they know what it comes from. They know it has a pagan origin. Where 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 in the Bible did when the so-called Jesus say to put a Christmas tree in your house? It was nowhere in there. Uh, read that. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen 
or dismayed at them. All right, it says, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Now, this is key because Christmas is based, it goes back, uh, it's very near the celebration of the winter solstice. And uh, the winter solstice is one of the signs of the heaven. Because uh, like I said, the pagans, they, they have a solstice celebration each year during the solstice. And then on December 25th, that's when the sun starts rising back up in the sky. Now, if you notice right now during the, the fall or autumn, the days get really short. You know what I'm saying? Days are real short. The sun isn't is only in the it isn't in the sky for that long. But on December 25th, the sun starts to rise again and the days start getting longer. So, but a heathen got dismayed at that. Got dismayed at that sign in the heavens, and they, and they made a celebration out of it. It's one thing to observe it and to recognize oh, on this day the sun starts rising. But the heathen, they'll take that and they'll worship the sun. They'll even sacrifice children to it. You know what I mean? And then they'll make up a whole mythology. They worship the sun. They leave out cookies to the sun. Oh, I got a scripture for that. Hey, read that again. For th thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. All right, keep going. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest and work of the hands of the workmen with the ax. And yeah, that goes back to the, uh, the Christmas tree. They take a Christmas tree out of the forest and they put it in their house. Keep going. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They, they deck it with silver and with gold. Isn't that what people do on Christmas time? Just like that old Christmas song with Bean Crosby. It goes, what's that Bean? Yeah, we talk about this all the time. Silver, silver and gold. gold. Like silver and gold. <laughs> silver and gold. <laughs> and that should be, hey look, and those Christmas songs be sounding smooth too. They got a nice melody to it. They need a little Christmassy, little magical feeling to them. And they do that on purpose because Satan, because Satan come at you like an angel, pretends to be an angel of light. You know what I'm saying? So Satan comes at you with a, Satan's a sneaky bastard, okay? Man, I had one of them fucking songs stuck in my head. Who ever had this shit happen to you? Well, because, I mean, they got cat, they're catchy <laughs> tunes. they designed that way. It's designed that way because, first of all, music is a form of magic. All right, because to cast a spell on somebody means you spelling words. To spell words is how you cast a spell. So music uses words. It's nothing but word, and uses those words to put your ass under a spell. Then it uses a, the, the certain, they play the music in a certain key, okay? They'll play the music in a certain key, at a certain tempo, all right? And, and it's like there's a whole demonic formula behind it and then they use that music to put you on in a trance, it to works. put you under a spell. It works too. Dog. It is a, it's a magical science behind it. Yeah, right. They deck it with silver and with gold. Oh, that's why you no, know, a lot of music and a lot of music uh, industry producers, they'll make the tempo of the music at the same rate as your heartbeat. Mm. That's another way. It was the, the, the mm. heartbeat is like 81 beats per minute or something. No, 70. I can't remember. I got to look it up. I sound stupid, but I've, it's been a minute since I looked at it. But you know, uh, you know, they'll put the music to that the average heartbeat. Average is like 80. I think it might be. Over nine, over 80 over 80. Is it 70? Or, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been a minute since I looked at it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go count my pulse. Hold on. It's like. <laughs> But they do that, man. That's a fact. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it may move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They are must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Yeah, yeah, these motherfuckers celebrate Christmas. There's nothing in them that makes them want to do good. Hey, get uh, First John, if you will. You better get something else. I want you to get me a uh, First John. Uh, I just walk by and farted on this. Oh, it stinks. First John two and uh, uh, start at fifteen. Cause it goes into that whole spirit. You smell that? There's something funky out here. You know that shit in yourself? 
<laughs> this is your first job too? Uh, yeah, 2 and 15. Start there and read all the way down. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Yeah, so we're out here saying, fuck the world. We don't give a damn about this world. Only thing we care about is the word of the Most High and doing the will of the Heavenly Father. That's it. Fuck all, fuck all you other people. If you ain't doing the work of the Lord, then fuck you. We hate you. Keep going. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right, because you out here participate in the world, then the love of the Father is not in you, man. If you out here all about worldly shit, all about getting money, you only care about materialistic bullshit, you, it ain't nothing spiritual about you, the, the love of the Father is not in you. Keep going. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Hey, Ron, my fault. Read that one more time. Uh, for all, this is John, 1 John 2 and 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. So what is that? that, that that's the whole spirit of Christmas right there, ain't it? Isn't the whole spirit of Christmas by the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes? Because when you got the woman, they decorating that Christmas tree. Hey, man, give me that scripture in Genesis. Uh, when the serpent gave the fruit to eat and said it was very pleasing to the eyes or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because just like back in the Garden of Eden, when, when the serpent gave the fruit to eat, that fruit was very beautiful to eat. It, it was magnificent looking. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's why the main people who in the Christmas are the woman. The main people in the decorating the house is the woman. Just like on that movie, uh, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. A, a woman to have your ass on the roof of the house, risking your life to hang some goddamn Christmas lights. She'll have the goddamn elves and Santa Claus or reindeer all up in the uh, all up in the front yard oh yeah Santa Claus had eight reindeer in the number eight in uh in the number eight that goes back to Odin's eight-legged horse and back in the Norse mythology eight represented traveling yeah it's crazy yeah running up a goddamn electric bill for your Christmas lights and that's why we pray you can uh, that one of them lights causes a spark, catches your tree on fire, and burns your whole house down. That would be wonderful. That'd be a, what's that called? That'd be a wonderful, was there a song that goes with that? <laughs> and I hope some Christmas music plays while that shit burns down. Right. You know, some Bean Crosby's in the background while your shit's burning. This is a, this is Genesis 3, I'm starting at one time. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Yeah, the serpent was subtile. I mean, he was sneaky, you know what I'm saying, conniving, just like the so-called Jew. <laughs> Keep going. Which the Lord power had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath the Most High said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, has said, ye shall not eat of it. You can't eat of that tree, and now is it good or evil? He go off. Neither shall you touch it, lest ye die. It's not an actual fruit either. And the serpent isn't an actual snake. The serpent represents a wicked man, and the fruit represents wicked philosophies. You know what I'm saying? Wicked thoughts. For the, for the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open. Eyes shall be open. And you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Right, the servant said you will be as gods. Keep going. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. When she saw it with her eyes, keep going. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. There it goes, it was pleasant to her eyes. And that goes back to the, uh, what we read in what, uh, second, uh, John 2 and 15, uh, first John 2 and 15. You know, the, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, okay? Keep going. 
and a tree to be a desire to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Right, and that's why the serpent went to the woman first, because a woman is more easier but to manipulate. That's why today the serpent is still among us, and the serpent goes to your woman. He goes to your woman to, to get to you. That's why that's why when you go to the courts, the, the, the woman always has uh, has more rights than a man. Like if, if you're gonna get if a woman can divorce you, there's nothing you can do about it. A woman can get you for child support, there's nothing you can do about it. A woman can take your children, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay? She can go abort your baby, there's nothing you can do about it. That's why the government comes, they give women free housing. They don't give men free housing. And on the average, they give way more money to women in food stamps and welfare. They don't give the man nothing. Because the, the devil, oh, the serpent always goes to the woman. And he controls you through the woman. And that's what the serpent did in the garden. He went to the woman. And then the woman, she got the man to sin. Good precept. Yes. First Timothy 2 and 13. That's a good one. For Adam was first formed in Eve. Yep, yep. And Adam was not deceived. See, Adam wasn't deceived. But the woman was deceived. So it was, it was the woman. Being so, deceived was in transgression. And we get that one in Ecclesiasticus too. The, 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 the woman was the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't letting Adam off the hook either. You know what I'm saying? We ain't saying what he did was right. Because some people like say, yeah, you got misogynists. They just hate women. <laughs> Motherfuckers get that every day. They get on our YouTube. They call us. Oh yeah, that's cool. But that's that's the point I wanted to prove though, because the Christmas is all about the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. Oh, not only that, the Christmas tree. This was a point I really wanted to get. Since we in that Christmas spirit, well, we're not in the Christmas spirit. These fools are in that that Satan spirit. So that Christmas tree, or oh, that Yule tree. That's what it is. Like, that Yule tree. That represents the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then they put the silver and the gold on it because it's very pleasing to the eyes. You know what I'm saying? And those those uh crit, those, those little bulbs. Why did the hell did they put bulbs on a Christmas tree? Because trees have fruit. Just like you see apples on a tree, those little bulbs represent fruit. And that's that fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil that the serpent gave to Eve. So when you put a Christmas tree in your house, you are literally worshiping the ser serpent and you're thanking him. And you got gifts underneath the tree. You got the gifts which were made by the elves, the little demons, Satan's little helpers. Oh, Works the same way as that with the music. It's the same formula. Yeah, the same formula. You know? It's got the pride, the, the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, all, all, the, all the music you hear on the radio, it's all carnally minded, it's all all about adultery, getting money, bitches all rapping about money and gold and jewelry. Ain't nothing spiritual about none of this music. A bitch will rap about her ass like Nicki Minaj will rap about her ass. And to rap about fucking somebody. That's a whole album. And not not a single not a single spiritual song on the whole album. I don't know how people gonna listen to that garbage, man. It's poison for your mind. Hey, that's that fruit. That, that's that music. That's part of that fruit that the serpent gave to eat. Mm -hmm. So when motherfuckers celebrate Christmas, they put that tree in their house. That, that is literally Baal worship. Because that Christmas... Oh, before you get that. Because that Christmas tree is also known in the Bible as a grove. An Asherah pole. All right? An Asherah pole. I got to... Let me read this real quick. Because uh, a grove is a tree. And we had this problem back in the ancient world. The Israelites would always get their groves. They'd put them in the temple. They'd put the trees in the temple. Or they'd put the trees in their house like he read in Jeremiah 10 already. Uh, the, 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 they'd take a tree out the forest and put it in their house. Just like the heathen did. Alright? And it's also the tree was also known as a grove. I got a scripture for that. Deuteronomy 12 and 3. Uh, and ye shall overthrow... Actually, let me start at 1. Deuteronomy 12 and 1. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which the Lord thy God and thy fathers giveth thee to possess it all the days ye live upon the earth. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods. 
Yeah, you, you're supposed to destroy a, a temple of a heathen. But in America, you got Buddha temples, you got mosques, you got mother... Over there on the east side, they got a Buddhist temple. I seen that shit, I thought I... I, I, I thought I was in a kung fu movie or something. It's one, it was a big one up on Cleveland Avenue. They got Hindu temples. Got the big ass signs out front, the big ass statues, every fucking They got Scientology temples everywhere. Yeah, everything uh, up north too. Freemason lodges everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. The big ass compass on the yep. front. You're supposed to destroy that. It says, you shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations ye shall possess, possess, serve their gods upon the high mountains, upon the hills, and under every green tree. That green tree goes back to the groves. But listen, and ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. Mm. And you shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy the names of them out that place. I mean, that's clear. So you, should, so somebody, well, we ain't telling nobody to actually do this. When, when they might watch the video, get in the spirit and go start burning people's houses down and shit. They don't do that. They'll lock your ass up. But according to the Bible, that, that's what we were supposed to do. But now we got, we got to tell people we don't set a burning down their Christmas tree. You got you got to give them the truth and, and give them the history behind Christmas and tell them that you ain't supposed to be celebrating this shit, man. That's what you're supposed to do. You burn them with the fire, which is the word. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, some brothers, they get so hard in their spirit that, you know, they, they be with their baby's mom and they like, and they get, she got a Christmas tree, but I fuck your tree, bitch, and drag that motherfucker outside, pour gasoline on him, burn that bitch up. <laughs> That's how I was. When I first came in the troop, that's how I was. Boy, I, I'll break your shit. My bitch had a crucifix necklace. Bro. I took that shit, broke it into pieces. You know what I'm saying? I was destroying all the graven images. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you got to be smart, man. Shit, that's smart. That is smart. You're right. That is. I mean, you, I ain't telling you to do nothing. You do what you, Whatever you do, you responsible if for it. I ask him to go burn down somebody else's tree. Yeah, right. Shit. Oh, that's true. If you want to burn that shit, you're right. And the Bible said burn that shit with fire. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Bible said. Burn that motherfucking Christmas tree with fire. Yeah, she gonna leave you. Oh, she definitely leave your ass dead. The storm that brought the camera's back. You like this motherfucker's crazy. Holy! But hold up, but who's crazier though? Who the fuck puts trees up inside their house? Man. When I was growing up, if I brought sticks or mud or anything from outside in the house, my mom was like, get that shit out of my house. I just cleaned this motherfucker. So, but all of a sudden during Christmas, it's okay to bring trees in the house, got sap and shit all up on it, bugs. Oh, they get the fake trees now. That's just some, only a goddamn heathen will put a tree in the house. See, trees belong outside. See, trees grow. They belong out, they do not belong indoors. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Only a motherfucking heathen would put a tree in that house. Oh, yeah. That's why Jeremiah 10 said, learn not the ways of a heathen, of the heathen. You got more of that? I love talking about Christmas, man. Cause I hate fuck, I hate Christmas. And we gotta break people that's in that, we gotta break people, the spell that's on people. We gotta get people out of trance. Cause a lot of people watch these videos and we shake them out of that trance with this troops, man. You know what I'm saying? It works. Oh, uh, go ahead. This is Jeremiah 13 and 9. Thus said the Lord, After this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people, which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imaginations of their heart. They walk in the imagination of their heart, which is Christmas. And they, they say it's all about the heart and about good feelings, good peace. And, uh, what do they say? Uh, what's that famous saying during Christmas? Uh, peace to all men, peace and goodwill to men. What's that? How, well, how's it go? They say peace and goodwill to men or something like that, don't they? Mm. I got a scripture for that. All right, go ahead. This evil people will refuse to hear my Hold word. Hold on, read that again. This evil people. <laughs> they, it's talking about Israel. Our people said this evil people. The Lord called you evil. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going. Which refuse to hear my word which walk in the imagination of their heart, 
and walk after other gods to serve them. Right, when you celebrate Christmas, you falling after other gods, you serving other gods. Santa Claus is goddamn Odin, okay? All, all the Norse pagans, people who still worship Odin, they know this. So they love Christmas. Christmas is their favorite time of year. And they like it, they get the Yule tree. You know what I'm saying? They worship Odin. My sister is a goddamn Odinist. My, my sister d does not talk to me. She disowned me because I blasphemy Odin and Thor. She thinks she's getting back in, back with her uh, European roots or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? She's out of her fucking mind, man. Your European roots. Yeah, well, European, that's, that's a, that was a goddess, ain't it? Europe. That don't even make no sense. Amazing. It, people, it is a lot more people into that Odin shit than you think, man. It's actually getting real popular on the internet. And to worship them shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. Oh yeah, too, don't you know, if you worship Odin, because the, the unholy trinity of Norse paganism, Germanic paganism, whatever, is the unholy trinity is Odin, Thor, and Frey. You know, Thor is the son of Odin. That's why we got Thursday and Thor's Day, which is named after Thor. And that's why we got Woden's Day, which is Wednesday. But then you got Frey, well you got Friday. But uh, every nine years, the, the Norse pagans, they will sacrifice nine of every kind to, to, to their gods. Okay, that means they will sacrifice humans. So I think it's kind of interesting how Christmas falls on uh, Thor's Day next week. Oh, it does. That's interesting. It is interesting. Thor went bugged out. Imagine that. But all these they they require human sacrifice. So, so when you're saying you you uh you worship Thor and Odin and shit, you're saying it's okay to kill people and to sacrifice humans and to drain all their blood and shit. What kind of sick, crazy, demented shit is that, man? And then you're gonna have a whole holiday set up around Odin where you, it's all about the children. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They go back to child sacrifice. I just bugged out, man. It's actually falling on Thursday, man. Just like crazy. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's always on Thursday. Is it? Every, yeah, yeah right. every year. Right. Thanksgiving. Well, is Christmas too? No, no, it changes every year. It is always on the 25th. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the 25th, like, goes back to the sun rising back up in the sky. And back in the ancient world, the ancient Romans, they worshiped in the ancient Greeks. When o Apollo was associated with the sun, they would celebrate Apollo's birthday on December 25th. Or in the later Roman Empire, they, they worshiped uh, Sol Invictus, uh, the unconquered sun, on December 25th. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so hath I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, said the Lord that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory, but they were not here. Yeah, so, so here it is, Israel's chosen. The Lord made us mighty, powerful. Made, made, us, made us greater than the heathen. Gave us all these gifts. And still Israel won't be a damn devil. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, thou we, shalt... Oh, you what? Last week we had this fool out here arguing with us. He tried to say I was an Edomite because I said the, uh, the Israelites are wicked and evil. Because he agreed to the, that the Lord came for Israel. But he's like, but my, ain't none of my people wicked and evil. I'm like, you out your goddamn mind. That's like the majority percentage of Israel is wicked and evil. You remember that dude, don't you? Yeah. And then I asked him, I, saw, I asked him if two thirds was going to be destroyed. He said, yeah. And I said, if Israel's not wicked, then how come the Lord's going to destroy two thirds of them? <laughs> it don't make no sense, man. Because you got people on YouTube, they'll, they'll, they get mad because we talk shit about Israel. Because we say Israelites are wicked and evil. They are wicked and evil. And the Lord's going to destroy two thirds of them. going to be no more wicked. What's that scripture? Uh, Few shall be saved. That's in Ezra. I'll go ahead. Therefore, thou shalt speak unto them this word. Thus said the Lord, power of Israel, every bottle shall be filled with wine. And they shall say unto thee, do we not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shalt thou say unto thee, thus said the Lord, behold,
fulfill. I fulfill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon David's throne and the priests and the prophets and all of the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. And I would dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, said the Lord. I will not pity nor spare. There will be no pity. Nor have mercy, but yeah. destroy them. We will destroy them. And so when the Lord destroys two thirds of Israel, we ain't gonna shed no tears. We, we ain't gonna be, oh, I'm so, I'm so sad. There's your little baby got, no, we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna, we're gonna praise the most high. Right. We're gonna say hallelujah. For real. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come a time, ain't gonna be no holding back no more. Open your mouth or anything, man. That sword, first of the first I said, he who hold back the sword shall be destroyed. Oh, hey, I got a scripture for that. You no. Know? Cause these wicked motherfuckers, they all over the internet, man. We're talking this peace shit. Let's love our let's love everybody. Let's love it. Let's love our enemies. They don't even understand that shit. They're going to fuck off now, man. That Ferguson shit, the New York, that coach that's in New York. Hell, you got Edomites fucking walking with Jake like goddamn, they gonna ever be peace, man. Well that whole shit set up. Set up like a motherfucker. But that's all part of the communist revolution. But uh Ain't none of your protests ever going to succeed because y'all ain't, this, this is not your foundation. You ain't got no foundation. Just like, no. what, what's that in Luke? What's that in Luke 16 or 6? They say the, 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 the when, you know what I'm saying? I just hit somebody with that scripture today. I can find it. You know what I'm saying? When you got to have that foundation that's on the rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. I think it might be Luke. I think it's 6 or 16. I can't. The number is mixed up in my head. Yeah, but that, that's the little protest ain't going to succeed. It ain't going to go nowhere, man. It's just going to fizzle out. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all going to get fucked up. But, but yeah, like we saying, we up in that Christmas spirit. Well, it's almost Christmas time. But what's that pop? Like he said, everybody's talking about it's going to be peace. Like, what's their Christmas slogan? Peace and goodwill to men. Ain't that what they say? Or something like that. I got a scripture for that. It's in Matthew 10 and 34. It says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. But that's clear. Is that still going? Mm hmm. So where is that peace and goodwill to men? Did you find it? Show me that scripture. Snap. You know where that scripture's at? Snap. Oh, man. Hey, I just want somebody to show me that scripture. Right. Yeah, right, there's peace and goodwill to our brothers, but not the, not the world. The scripture said, love not the world. To hell with this world. We wish death and destruction on these fools, man. I'm gonna read it again. Think now that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am, these are red letters. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Oh, that's another point, too. A man's foes shall be those of his own household. Like that dude that got shot, Mike Brown. His, his stepfather. First of all, why did he have a stepfather? He, he, <laughs> was, he, he right. was raised in wickedness. Having a stepfather, where's the scripture say you can have a stepfather? That's wickedness. That's adultery. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So he was raised in wickedness. His mama was a hoe. Okay, his mom was a hoe and her mom was a hoe. All these bitches out here, they all hoes, man. They get they, they got five different babies, daddies. They, they have five babies and each one of them got a different daddy. All of them. And they all got, yeah, then you got a step... Stepfather is confusion. There ain't That's supposed to be no such thing as a stepfather. It's just like my family. Right, your mom... A, a woman is supposed to stay with one man her whole life. Anything outside of that is adultery. And there, there ain't no justifying that shit, man. That's some weird shit growing up with somebody. Right, another you know, dude. That ain't even your father. You know, I didn't have a seed with that nigga. You grown up with motherfuckers. You grown up with different seeds. Do them, 
Keep going. He is like a man who has built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. On a rock, right. Well, our foundation is like a bedrock. You know what I'm saying? The best possible foundation you can have. Right. And when the flood arose, the stream beat be vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Yeah, that's just like the story of the three little pigs. You know what I'm saying? You had three little pigs. That sounds silly. It's the truth, though. That's a good parable. Just like you had the three little pigs, two little pigs, they was lazy as hell. They were not diligent. One had a house made out of straw. What was the other one made out of? I don't know. And sticks. Sticks and straw. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was they thinking? But then the goddamn They're big, then the big bad wolf came through. The Lord said, I sent you. That's a good story for children. A very good story. That's a nice parable. Because the, the big bad wolf came through. Well, the Lord said, I send you a sheep among wolves. But the, uh, you know, the pigs are swine. They're filthy animals. So that's a problem. But anyway, the big bad wolf came through and huffed and puffed and blew them motherfuckers' houses down. But your one pig, that boy was smart. He built his shit out of, out of stone, out of bricks. You know what I'm saying? The wolf, the wolf could not blow that house down. Ain't that kind of funny? Two thirds? Two of them was destroyed. Oh, two thirds. That's a good. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a good. Hey, <laughs> and that's a good parable. Two thirds. That's crazy. Only one third made it. <laughs> that's it. Oh man, that that's a good. <laughs> that remnant. That is bugged out. Man. Oh man. You yeah. took it to a whole new level. <laughs> whole new level. <laughs> You're right. With the three little pigs. The three little pigs. Remember that music video? Three little pigs. <laughs> that's bugged and out. And the motherfucking one of the pigs was smoking on a big ass blunt. Right, you right. seen that shit? No. No, the rock video? Mm -hmm. That shit is silly, man. I probably have, man. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> the shit. He is like a man who's built in the house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not. Hey, but he that heareth and doeth not. I mean, if we teach you this word, you don't want to listen. You buck up against us, you talk shit, keep going. It's like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. Yeah, the ruin of that house is great. You like that little three little pigs, you built your house out of straw, the wolf blew that shit down and ate your ass for dinner. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get ate alive when all the chaos breaks loose out here, when the economy collapses, when war breaks out, and when the, 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 the race riots come and society just collapses under the weight. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's coming. It's coming. I mean, y'all y'all, y'all going to be like, y'all going to get devoured, man. You, you don't stand a chance. I'm gonna find it, man. But there's an actual scripture that uh, tell you how these, you know, you tell these fucking fools what's coming, but they like, man, this is gonna happen in some other lifetime. It ain't coming no time. Oh yeah, it's when the clouds is red and lowery. You know, I was just reading that one not too long ago too. That's in the gospel. It's like when you can see the clouds and the storm. Yeah, coming. I'm thinking of something else though. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh. There's some fire and shit too. I'll find this shit. Just give, me give me a key word. I got a concordance. Um, no, I keep this back. I can't, I can't keep going. It's one of the scriptures that we. I'll find it. Just give me a second. All right, take all right. Oh, okay. Ezekiel. Oh, okay. Ezekiel, I think it's eight. I hope this is
So the destruction's coming, y'all can't stop that shit. Hell yeah, it's coming. That's what Israel like to do, they like to push shit off. No. Cause you tell people about that shit going down with Russia, don't nobody want to listen. They're like, ain't nothing gonna happen. They been saying that shit for years. Right, right, right. That's what I Oh, here we go. I got it, I got it, I got it. All this right. is Ezekiel 12. This is bad shit too. It'd be hard to turn the pages without no glove. I, I mean, with the glove, I mean. Uh, this is Ezekiel uh, 12 and 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man. Yeah, we, we pray the Lord destroys all these coda buses. The most raggediest form of transportation on the face of the earth. You see that bitch from Ohio State got killed downtown, got hit by a Oh, yeah, they got hit by a coda bus and a car. Yeah. Right, no, it was a school bus or a coda bus? I think it was, yeah, it was a school bus. <laughs> Engineering here, this motherfucker. Not no more. <laughs> right, right. That's, uh, one person or two people died. It's just one. I think two people died. Yeah. I think because um, a, a car hit downtown, a bus. It's right down Broad in the high street. Yeah, and, and killed some people. Yeah. And uh, there, the man and woman that was fucked up in the car in the truck, they had stayed recovering here. Oh, yeah. They had Grant. They had Grant recovery. They ain't never with them. Yeah, people think just random acts. That, 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 that ain't, ain't nothing random. You know what I mean? We put curses on buses, I guess. Oh yeah. You know? oh, we put curses on these wicked fools out here. Yep, yep. That bitch that got yep. put to death, that was that was an angel that, that put that bitch to death. We put curses on people that we hope a bus hit them or something. Well, we yeah, say it all the time. We all pray the time, you, all, all the time we pray you get hit by a bus. All the time. All, all the time. time. Yep. So we What's up, baby? Look at that. Oh, that's a I can't. It's gonna mess up my spirit. Yeah, how, how do I? Here you go. Uh, this is Ezekiel 12 and 21, and the word of the Lord came. Yeah, Saying, "Son of man, 